Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about a cancer sun person briefly, the Krabby Crab. Um, there are really only a handful of things that every one of each sun sign has in common, you know, because remember your sun is your vitality, your ego, kind of how you want to show up, how you want to be seen. Um, and the reality about Cancer Sun people is that they generally have pretty small egos. Um, so there's that uh, that makes them vary quite a lot from person to person, from Cancer Sun person to Cancer Sun person. They're all very different. Um, I would say there's more variability among them than there are of any other sun sign. And the main reason for that, one, what I just said, smaller, smaller ego in most cases, and also uh, cancer rules the moon. So really the moon sign matters for a cancer sun person, maybe more than any other sun sign. Um, so you look at the big three, you know, which is like the, the three placements that we usually start off with when we're trying to get a general sense of someone. You have your sun, your moon, your rising. Well, Leo, rules the sun, Leos are easy to spot, Leo sun people. Big ego, big presence, big personality, you know? For better and for worse, I'm not saying it's good or bad to have a big ego if you're a Leo or small ego if you're a Cancer, it's just how it is, you know? It depends how you manage that. But um, Cancers are, you know, they're, they're hard to spot, they vary a lot. Um, and. You know, moon. Uh, moon is ruled by by Cancer, um, and then the ascendant doesn't have a, a ruling sign. So, Leos are the easiest to spot. Leo Sun people, Cancer Sun people are the hardest to spot. Roughly speaking, Cancer Moon people pretty easy to spot. If you can, once you break the ice with them, you get to know them, and you uh, really get a sense for their ultra-sensitive emotional nature. Um, you can you can know a Cancer Moon person when you see them. But but anyway, back to Cancer Sun people, there are really only a few few things that we all have in common. I am one myself. Uh, but you may not know that because of the heavy Capricorn influence that I have on my chart, including my moon, you know? Um, and again, to reiterate, first thing is that the moon sign matters. So, Cancer Sun person, varies a lot in their personality and their emotional nature and in how they kind of process information. Um, you got to look to the moon to really get a sense of who they are more so than any other sign. Second thing is um, uh, Cancer Sun people are, uh, think of a crab looking for its shell. The right, f the, the right shell that's the right fit in the right place even if it's a shell they can take anywhere. Uh, a cancer person is in constant search of a home in a, in a deep, kind of a deeper existential sense. Um, they find it difficult to hide any feeling of dissatisfaction that they have with their environment, with the, the physical place they're at in life. Um, and so some of them may tend to move around, you know, depending on how their sun is aspected and what other aspects are going on in their chart. But they may move around um, and they never quite feel at home, you know, in the right place with a particular group of people, even if it is their family or, or close friends who they undoubtedly get along with very well. Um, they may feel the need to kind of scuttle around and test the waters, you know. Um, another thing, and this is related to the, you know, difficulty in hiding discomfort point, is that uh, cancers, like a crab, tend to scuttle sideways around the perimeter of the room going meh a lot. Meh, 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 meh. You know, uh, if a crab made a noise, it would definitely be meh. 
um, crabs are, you know, cancers can be crabby. If they're like home, if they're the home that they do have, whether they're satisfied with it or not, um, if their home is like out of order, if someone like sort of comes in and changes something in their home environment, they can get crabby. Uh, cancer sun people tend to collect things, they're collectors, like rocks, toy cars, sports cards. Um, cancers collect things. I mean, again, there are only a few. Um, just to dispel a, a myth or two, um, cancers are said to be more sensitive than the other signs, like more emotional. Sensitive is a better word than emotional, because again, your emotional nature is your moon sign, so it depends what moon you have. Like, I'm not a very emotional person overall. Meh. Fucking being attacked by a wasp. Because uh, I have a Capricorn moon sign. Um, but a cancer, but a, a cancer sun person with like an Aries moon or really like any fire moon um, will be ultra emotional. But regardless, uh, it's not really the emotionality that matters here with cancer sun person. It's really um, kind of the intuitive nature. Like cancers are very intuitive. They're we're quite in tune with other people's intentions, actually whether or not we're in tune with our own emotions, you know, if like, say you're a Capricorn moon like me, or you're highly reactive to things emotionally, let's say you have an Aries or, or a Scorpio moon along with that, regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, reg regardless of our relationship with our own emotional nature, we still have a unique sense of gauging emotionality and um, intention of other people. So cancers do tend to be in tune with what is going on in the room, right? And uh, tend to be pretty decent judges of whether or not someone interacting with us is being authentic or if they have like hidden motivations, right? A lot of times like cancers can be a little, they can be a little soft in negotiation. They can just let things pass. Um, and it's not necessarily because they're pushovers. I think it's because they can accurately gauge the intentions of the person that they're negotiating with. And they see like the mountain of work that may be required to like win that person over. So sometimes we just say, ah, fuck it. And we just go with it, you know? Cause we don't want to have to like put in the psychoanalytical work of manipulating this person in order for us to get what we want. So we do often give up what we want, um, not to maintain the peace like Libras do, but because there is an overwhelming amount of baggage that we can see that the other person is bringing into the interaction. And, you know, you can't deal with somebody, honestly, unless you're dealing with their baggage too. It's just that cancers tend to be a little more aware of what is actually going on in that regard. So we tend to be like, ah, it's not even worth it. You know, just let it pass, you know? So that's where like the passive nature of cancers comes from, especially when it comes to social interaction, uh, even relationships sometimes too, if you're not well developed, you know? Um, so a cancer does need to like find a structure, find a way, especially the men. Um, the way of like kind of just like living by principle and putting their foot down when they need to and not budging on that, not being so flexible. You know, because often being flexible will come back to to burn us um, because we're like sort of like ceding ground, ceding power to that other person. Um, and so, it, you know, you have to play off of what's going on uh, with your Saturn. Look, look to Saturn, you know, um, 
to see how you might most organically go about setting principles for yourself as a Cancer Sun person and, and implementing them and sticking to them. Look at Saturn, look at Mars. Um, you know, it's pretty clear cut for me, say, because uh, I have my Saturn and Capricorn and Mars and Aries. So like those are pretty like very straightforward. You know, they're both planets are in their sign of rulership. So I kind of know, um, kind of know what I have to do. It's it's about just like working it up and doing it. You know. So also Saturn matters because, you know, we think of like Cancer as the quintessential maternal energy and Capricorn is the quintessential, uh, you know, paternal energy. It's like yin and yang, it's feminine, masculine, and Saturn is ruled by Capricorn, which is, you know, the opposite sign of Cancer. So you always want to play with uh, shadows, with opposites. Um, look, look to your opposite sign, whether it's the sun or even if, if you're dealing with something emotionally, look at the opposite sign to that to find where you need balance. Because oppositions are all about balance. It's all about stopping that game of tug of war that happens between the two opposing energies and finding that comfortable tension between them uh, that can actually be productive, you know? So for cancer, it's just, it's really important. Um, for every sign it is, but in Cancer's case in particular, you want to look at where you have Capricorn in your chart. If you are, especially if you're like very much ruled, if your chart is very much ruled by your sun, because um, like Cancer is a pretty weak sun to have your chart ruled by, you know, for, for that to have like a lot of influence over, as opposed to say um, a sun that whose who's, uh, expressions are a little more straightforward, you know, like Leo or like even Scorpio or something that like you know what you get when you have a person in that sun sign, you know. You don't know what you get when, when you have a, a sun in Cancer most often than not. It depends on the house too, but um, and, and they often don't know what they're putting out either, which is why, you know, Cancers can be like you know, hardest shell on the outside, sweetest meat on the inside, and, you know, kind of know how to put up their guards when it's necessary and, you know, use their pinchers when they need to, but also know how to, like, how and when to be vulnerable um, in a healthy way. And, you know, cancers can be absolutely lovely, uh, but they can also be some of the most manipulative uh, because they are intuitive, because they do kind of know what's going on on an intuitive level. Um, regarding the intentions and emotional states of others uh, if a cancer is underdeveloped or has like some difficult volatile aspects or other placements in their chart they can really use that knowledge that that power to their advantage in in a negative way so again it's establishing a moral uh, a, a basis for moral principles not just for action in in a Saturnian way but in general will benefit you a lot as a Cancer Sun person, so uh, that's my little analysis on the Cancer Crab. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next month for Leo. Cheers.